Welcome to the Bourbon Experience. My name is Austin. Today we're continuing the battle of the ECBPs. As you can see, I'm back at my boy Brian's house where I shot my Booker's Blind episode that he had set up for me. And I'm continuing my battle of the ECBPs with the ultimate goal to figure out what is my absolute favorite Elijah Craig Barrel Proof of all time. I'm a huge Elijah Craig Barrel Proof fan. So is Brian. Last week you saw I did the A117, B517, and C917 uh, blind with my buddy Joe. Now today I set up a blind for Brian of the A119, B519, and C919. The reason why I went with the 2019s for Brian is he always claims the uh, C919 is his all-time favorite batch. So just keeping in theme with that, I'm going to do the 2019 lineup with him. Okay, like I already told you guys, I'm back here at Brian's house. I set up these blinds. He knows we're drinking Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but he does not know which Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs that we're doing. Um, he kind of... I'll probably... Yeah, I'll probably take a, a, a B-roll of his Elijah Craig Barrel Proof collection it's insane um so i tried to set this up a couple weeks ago using some of his bottles and it just it kind of didn't work out but all it says he knows that we'll be doing elijah craig barrel proof just not which ones nope is this part of that shootout that you were talking about yes my elijah, oh, right. my my battle of the ecbps okay um so i set up the blinds like i always do we got stickers underneath um ours are in the same order and then uh Let's yeah, you should have seen him putting this like, together. He was huh. like playing musical hats with these things. So I don't even think he knows the order now. Oh, I I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, starting on the right? Yes. All right. Oh, man. Holy crap. So we warmed up with... What did we warm up with? Uh, A124 and B524. And <laughs> neither one of them come close to, to this one. This is like super dark, I would say, too. Or it could just be the lighting, the way the light's hitting, but... It's the red lighting behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, brown sugar. Um, I always get caramel and vanilla on these. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's the oak. Just about any bourbon, so... Uh, no, no, especially like the older... ECBPs like it, that that's the predominant thing I always tell people I have like my two lanes of bourbon that I tend to gravitate towards and it's either high proof and fruit forward or high proof in brown sugar rich dark sweetness oh, yeah, and ECBPs like that's that lane for sure yeah definitely no fruit in these there's almost a little bit of a funky oak in there too but it's not just brown sugar like it's not it's not really toffee Maybe like creme brulee, the top of the creme brulee, you know, kind of type of thing, like a burnt yeah. sugar type thing. Yeah, it's got a little bit of sugar in there. Oh, that's good. That's really good. There's almost like maybe an orange marmalade type of thing in there. Like an orange jam type of thing. Kind of custardy too, a little bit. Well, you can definitely tell the proof on this too. Like it hits you. Yeah. But it, but then it just lingers forever on that finish. That's that's really good. But yeah, it it, uh, it does. It lingers into like a custard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a little bit of that, like little funk, funky oak, like older older stuff. Okay, moving on to the second one, number two. I uh, had to cut a bunch of stuff out. Brian's kid came down and kind of <laughs> <laughs> interrupted us. Uh, so let's just kick back into this. Uh, number two looks... I'd say it looks darker than number one. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This one almost has a little bit of a... cleaner note. Not taste... Not. It smells cleaner than the other one does. Not like cleaning supplies, but no, no, I, I get what you what you're saying. It's a little less ethanol forward. 
Well, the the first one's a little bit more funky than the than the second. It one. is this this one is like you said. It, I don't know how to explain it other than yeah. what you said. Cleaner. Yeah. Less it's dark, cleaner. Maybe. I think I like that one more. It's a little bit lighter on the palette, maybe. It's a little bit lighter on the palette, but like, I like I know the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are gonna be between one twenty and one thirty proof. Yeah, but this doesn't um, this doesn't punch you in the face like the last one did. No, and I think that's what that. And this is like cleaner, but brown sugar syrup though. This is very syrupy mouth coating. Um, oh yeah, super sweet. A lot sweeter than that one. Mm -hmm. More brown sugar. The more I drink it, the barrel spice is starting to creep up a little bit. On the um, finish for me, it does. Yeah. In a good way. So, I mean, it lets you know that it's there, but it's definitely not as punchy as the first one. I'm venturing to say that right now that might be my first place. Okay. I think. Oh. Are we moving on to three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently we are. Well, oh, hold on a sec. All right, the nose on three is, it's not even close. The nose on three, oh my gosh. It's like the combination of one and two. But mellowed out. You think so? It's mellowed oh. out for me a little bit. Oh, this, this one's more rich, more round. Uh, Brown sugar, um, Hold on. vanilla, creme brulee. This is like really creme brulee y for me. Okay, there it is. <laughs> and the oak. I think he went so fast from two to three. And it's just, it's just, it's more round, more rich, full. There it is. Yeah. Oh, you know what, though? It kind of lacks on the palate. A little bit. I mean, it's custardy. Um, but... It is. It's custardy, but then there's no finish. For me, it just dries up. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. It dries up. Like, I'm like, where did it go? And I have to take another sip because... It's, it's extremely sweet up front and then goes custardy. And then, yeah, it just kind of dries out. Yeah, it's like I had nothing in my mouth. It's weird. Still, I think this might go number two for me, possibly. I'm going to run through my... Uh, I'm going to put it in number two for now. I'm going to run through... Uh, Which way do you do this? You go right to left? Left to right? I go left <laughs> to right. So this is, I your, drink my this least... is your one, this is your two, this is your three? No, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. So I drink up worst to best. Okay. Just to confirm that it tastes better each time that I, I move up. All right. Let's see. Yeah. So my number two, which I don't know if that was one or two now, but whatever my number two spot is, it just drinks really, really light. So that moved to third place. The third sample <clears throat> definitely moved its way into number two spot for sure. It might even it might even creep up and take over number one. I don't know, dude. You you mix yours all up, <laughs> so we'll just have to look at the dots <laughs> yeah. when we're done. I'm not even keeping up with what you did over here. Okay, this is my order. One, two, three. But now my tongue's on fire, so. My number two is moving up to number one. And there is like a, a marmalade thing with this one, too. Dude, you're so indecisive. <laughs> no, I'm locked in. I'm locked are in. You, are you locked in now? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So <laughs> what's your number? What's your number three? Number three. I don't know. It's a green dot. Is it? Let me see this. What else? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Green dot with uh, scribbles <laughs> and mine's red. So <laughs> Brian's number three was B519. Okay. 
B519, that was my three. What was your three? Or are we not saying yet? My three, A119. It was A119, okay. Interesting. Okay, so. Because I, I always get like a red fruit on A119 normally. Okay, so what's your number two? My number two apparently was a red dot. Okay, so your number two is A119. Okay. My number two. <laughs> Was, oh, we're we're all off. Oh. My number two is C919. Oh, see. Well, surprise, surprise. My number one was C919. That is my favorite. <laughs> uh, post pirate bottle, uh, Elijah Craig Girl Proof. So, yeah, that was number one for me. So, say your order. So, I was B519, A119, and C919 as my number one. And, Literally in this order. Okay. And yours and was, I yours was, was yours A119. Was so Oh no, yeah, it's C919. C919. And yours was B519. And B519. I. So your B519 was your first, and that was my last. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these bottles. Like, no. Let's be honest. And <laughs> I am a huge B519 fan. That actually, that, that makes perfect sense for me. I put B519 over a ton of stuff. Um, I tried C923, yeah. the one that everybody went over crazy for. People were asking, like, oh, what do you think about that one? I tried it, and there was, like, this orange marmalade thing that I always get with uh, B519. And I was like, uh, it's okay. It tastes like poor, man, <laughs> poor man's B519. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I just, I love B519 so much. So that actually, that makes perfect sense. Um, I have bought a ton of these stuff to, um, to back up at <clears throat> once I first found it. But I didn't know that these were the 19s either. So, yeah. Uh, and, um... When, when, you when you were upstairs, when you were upstairs, I said that uh, I chose the 19s because you always say that C919 is your all-time favorite. So uh, that's funny that you. It's funny that you say that because uh, yeah, I, I touched on that and that's why I chose the 19s. Oh, awesome! So, um, so yeah. this is what I do with B and A, and I don't touch C. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna leave this one to sip on later. I don't think you're gonna be running out of them, so. Nope. Uh, but yeah, check out the board, updating the board. So for me, B519 is going to be advancing to the next round. But <laughs> C919. that might be a controversial opinion. C919. I've, I've heard from a lot of people that C919 yeah. is one of their favorites. Um, so basically what Austin is saying is my opinion doesn't matter. So <laughs> Yeah. For the purposes of this tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I might get crazy and throw a wild card in. C919. And maybe I'll have to see what stands out the most. But that's where I'm leaving this. As always, bourbon experience is all about good pours and great times with whoever you're with. With whiskey's meant to be enjoyed, so crack right. those bottles. Cheers. Cheers.